Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Pegasus Drone Media. Today we're going to be taking a look at Data Pilot app for the Mac or Windows to upload a waypoint mission for your unique H520. To start with, we look at the icons on the left hand side. On the last tutorial I dealt with how to create a survey, but today we're going to be looking at creating a waypoint. So click your waypoint uh, icon and we want to take some photos circling this bunch of trees here so I'll click here and we can see that a takeoff is going to start from there a home point is here away from our takeoff point if you wish to change your home point simply click the H and drag that to where you want to take off from so that should something go wrong it will return back to the H point from the mission start. So we've now got the takeoff. Now the best thing to do now is to add your waypoint straight away. We'll deal with angling the camera and changing the, the yaw of the A90 uh, so that it can take the photos as you wish them to be. So I normally click and click and I just keep clicking how I want the flight path of the 520 to go to. You can put as many waypoints as you like, as close as you like, or as wide apart as you like. I'm going to do this quite close to the trees, but if you wanted to, say, take this type of angle from it, you can then do that waypoint and then take another waypoint and start another mission to take a wider circle around the trees. Okay, so this is going to be our final waypoint here. So over on the right hand side, you'll see all the waypoints that have been loaded into the um, into into the into the waypoint mission. So your mission start waypoint altitude. I want this to be at 51 meters for argument's sake and I want the flight speed to be five milliseconds um, five meters a second or you can change it to wherever you like if you want it to be a little bit slower you can change it to three and then hit enter that will then record that if you want it to fly a little bit quicker so at nine milliseconds you can then do that you can then enter it as that on the top here you will see that the distance traveled is 295 meters in the circle and it's going to take 49 seconds for it to actually um, complete the mission obviously going back to the speed if you change that to four you can see now that the time to take the mission has now increased to one minute and 30 seconds so do we want it to return to home yes so we're going to re we're going to at the end of the mission we want it to click return to launch if you don't it will hover where the last waypoint is so i always set that return to launch a takeoff um, is going to be 51 meters the same and then we're going into our first waypoint which is actually number three do we want the aircraft to hold while it takes the photograph or do we want the aircraft to carry on moving if you want it to hold and stop take the photograph then move on you can put this in to say 10 seconds hit enter you'll then see that your increase now on because of that waypoint is now gone to 1 minute 54 I don't usually bother unless I need an absolutely still photograph I just let it carry on but I have a fast shutter speed set so the altitude is going to stay there although this box isn't ticked okay so it will continue to do what the mission was which was four milliseconds we set that in the end okay so it will stay at four if we wanted it to speed up we can change this waypoint by clicking this and changing that speed for that one waypoint we now need to look at the camera section here where the little drop down arrow is and we can now change the gimbal and the mode now when you know if you notice when i click the gimbal the gimbal was set 
as the aircraft is going to fly so it's at naught degrees and naught yaw naught naught yaw <laughs> sorry so here you can see where the photograph is going to be taken this little white section in each of the waypoints so all that's going to do is just take a photograph in a circle around the trees it's not going to actually get the trees so we want to look at number three to start with and where the white semicircle is um, angling so i want to take an angle of 35 degrees so that will tilt the, ang the camera down to 35 it can be whatever angle you want it to be the yaw we're going to say 90 degrees to the aircraft and then it, it enter you'll now see that all of the white um, waypoints has changed so this is good for number three it's good for number four it's good for uh, sorry number five good number six good for seven good for eight good for nine good for 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 yeah the angles on that are quite good sometimes when you set a way mission way a waypoint mission out it may not be the right angle so let's say we wanted to change number 14 we can we see this going back on ourselves a little bit we wanted to change number 14 we click 14 and then we click the camera and then we click the gimbal and then we click the 90 degrees so if we change that to 70 degrees as i hit enter watch number 14 it then turns number 14 and everyone after it to to the angle of 70 degrees now 16 looks good 17 no i want the the white part to turn to the right slightly so i'm going to go to number 17 click gimbal and then click 90 degrees again okay so we can see now that 14 and 15 stayed the same and the others behind it but 17 onwards now changed to 90 degrees again so what mode do we want it to be in well we want it to be in from for this particular mission i want it to actually be in photo mode so i'm going to click photo like they can choose video or survey mode you can click photo and then every one of them will, will be a photo if you change it to video it would it would go to video so that is how you set up a waypoint mission for a circular mission of photographs to get something in a circle using the data pilot app so once we've done that you'll see over on the left hand side that sync is flashing if you click sync and then save to file we can then save that to a file and it automatically goes to your data pilot missions app folder in your operating system and we can call that trees one we then save that in mission and that mission has now been saved all you have to do is go to your data pilot app drag that mission plan onto an sd card from the sd card you would then put that into the into the bottom of the st16s go to mission planner you get this same thing here on mission planner on the actual st16s click sync and then load from file load from file will go into the st16 and then when you get to the field you can there will be a button up here that says upload as soon as you upload it you can then slide the controller um, and the and the aircraft will take off and do that mission so this is one way of actually creating missions uh, at home ready for your day's work instead of wasting time on the field doing it i find it's a great way of doing missions and waypoints and is my preferred way of loading a mission for the h520 thanks very much for watching this short tutorial and if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments below all the best thanks very much for watching